Okay, I am back here with another Ultralight Tips video, and uh, today I'm going to cover the transition between a quilt and a sleeping bag, and whether or not a quilt would be for you. <clears throat> so I'm sure you're familiar with a traditional sleeping bag. If you've done any backpacking or camping, this is probably what you've used, although this is a mummy cut, so it's a little bit tighter around the shoulders and feet to keep in a little more heat. And it's also got a hood, as most sleeping bags do, and that helps keep in some of the heat around your head as well. <clears throat> and while these work great, there are benefits that can be had from switching to a quilt. And one of the best benefits, obviously, and why this is an ultralight tip is it saves a lot of weight. This quilt, even though this is an older synthetic bag, even with traditional down bags, this quilt will be about half as heavy, maybe a tiny bit more. Going from this synthetic bag to this down quilt actually is more than half as light. So it'll save you a lot of weight, and not only that, this will compact down about to the size of a small, maybe a little bit bigger than a softball, whereas this packs down to a pretty hefty size really big like soccer ball size maybe so it's going to save you a lot of room in your pack and it's going to save you a lot of weight on your back <clears throat> one thing well basically what quilts do is when you're in a sleeping bag and you're laying down on the ground all of this material on your back underneath you is compressed so you've got all this heavy material that really isn't adding any warmth because it's being compressed underneath your back so what a quilt does is cut out all of that material. You'll see here on the back it's got an open back, no zippers or anything like that, and it's missing all of that material that you would normally be laying on. So what that means is you save a lot of weight from losing all of that material. The, most quilts also cut out the hoods on top of the bags, so you'll be sleeping kind of like this without a hood which saves weight, but you can replace that warmth just as easy with a some type of beanie, wool beanie like this. It'll still keep all of the warmth in your head, but you won't have to carry a big heavy hood attached to your sleeping bag. Now, one of my favorite things about quilts is when you're sleeping with them, it's just like using a comforter like you would on a bed at home so you're not zipped up all tight in it. If you want to vent your heat, say you get too hot, you can just stick a leg out or roll back the top a little bit and adjust your heat like that, which is a bit hard to do in a sleeping bag when you're all zipped up tight in there. Say you just want to stick your feet out or something, it's really hard to do that with a traditional bag. With a quilt, it's really easy. You'll notice on this quilt, there's a sewn-in foot box, so it's kind of like a traditional sleeping bag foot box foot box in that sense and that helps keep your feet warm so you're not having to hold the quilt underneath you. Not all quilts have this but a lot, a lot of them do. It's a pretty nice feature. So when you sleep with the quilt <clears throat> what you kind of do is put it over you and the sides will come down and touch the ground. I normally tuck the sides underneath me a little bit and that keeps any drafts from coming up under the quilt. But that's something you have to watch when you get quilts. You need to make sure, especially if you're a side sleeper because you sleep on your hip, it creates such a large arc. You need to make sure that your quilt is wide enough so you don't want to be laying on the, on the ground and have your quilt just kind of drape over you but not touch the ground like that. That'll let all sorts of cold air in and it'll, it'll be pretty unpleasant if it gets cold at all. So you need a quilt that's wide enough to tuck under you a little bit. And you'll also see a lot of quilts that have this, just like a sleeping bag does, a little cinch up top here. And that will allow you to adjust the bag around your neckline to make it tighter so no air gaps and no air, warm air gets out of your quilt. So in a lot of senses it's pretty much the same as a sleeping bag but there are a few key differences that you need to be aware of and that is if you're sleeping on the ground 
you're going to need some type of insulation underneath you. So you're going to need a pad like this or an inflatable pad that has a good R value. And an R value is just a way of measuring how insulative a pad is. So you want something that's going to keep your back warmth underneath you. And really that's a problem that sleeping bags have as well because you're compressing that sleeping bag material underneath you. So no matter what, you kind of need some type of pad to keep your warmth underneath you. But this is doubly true for winter situations. Now, this is a summer quilt. There are winter quilts, and you can do fine in the winter with the quilt. I've used mine down to 15 degrees, I think, in my hammock, which is kind of the lower limit for most quilts. Uh, you can get really big, thick quilts that go great for winter camping and this this doesn't really apply to hammocks because quilts are perfect for hammocks in any condition and I'll explain that in a little bit but if you're sleeping on the ground sleeping bags kind of in deep winter situations are the way to go but on shoulder seasons anywhere from 20 degrees up you can be fine and warm with a quilt so anyways as I was saying in a hammock quilts are in my opinion pretty much the only way to go because dealing with a sleeping bag in a hammock is just a lot of trouble trying to get in the hammock and then zip up your sleeping bag it's pretty it's a pretty big hassle whereas with a quilt you can just throw it right over you and with an under quilt your back stays warm but I've got other videos on that kind of setup so I'm not gonna go into too detailed of a talk about it anyways Quilts are a great way to save weight, and I think they're more comfortable, and they're more compact, so they're, they offer a lot of benefits in different areas that you may want to consider. Only time I wouldn't recommend a quilt is in deep winter camping, or if you are directly sleeping on the ground. Although, if you're doing that, even a sleeping bag is probably going to get pretty cold for you, so you're going to need a pad no matter what.